and from Casino, James Brooks. We don't want to get too serious here, okay? I mean, the guy's the greatest filmmaker, innovative, cutting edge, and so on. I think it is appropriate, by the way, that Marty is on the dais with William Guffman, who preserved the oldest known film uh, in history. Because this is a little known fact, Marty actually has the oldest pair of denim bell-bottom jeans in history. <laughs> If any of you have worked with him, you know he has worn them every day on the set for the past actually 25 years. And the good news is that, uh, as Marty, Marty knows, that style is coming back. It's just been a little <laughs> unfortunate that he's worn those for the past. Have you ever seen a picture of Marty Scorsese where he wasn't wearing those bell-bottom denim jeans? And what's really, like, excruciating about it, if you don't mind my saying, Marty, honestly, <laughs> is the fact that you starch them and press them. <laughs> And I have to tell you, it's not just that he starches them and presses them. He has them done like at a sheet metal place. I mean, if you tripped over the guy, if you tripped over the guy, you would get a gash in your ankle. This is a true story. <laughs> About a month before we shoot, I'm at my brother's video store in Warwick, Rhode Island. I'm down in the basement, like sorting through videos, having a donut, like a crawler and a cup of coffee. I get a call. My brother says, calls down. He says, Martin Scorsese's on the telephone. I go, get out of here. For what? I pick up the phone, I go, Marty, this is unbelievable. Hi, how are you doing? He says, yeah, okay, okay. We're here, we're shooting, we're in the, uh, the casino. I got Bobby here. He wants to just talk to you on the phone a little bit. We got that scene, you know, the thing where he talks to you? Yeah. I said, yeah. He said, we need you off camera for that, okay? You're off camera, okay? I said, Marty, you're off camera. I'm like 3,000 miles. <laughs> Off camera, okay? And meanwhile, by the way, I'm getting like paid in like baseball cards, okay? The any price thing. <laughs> you know, Mr. Artist, right? Any price good, hire him, fine, right? So now here I am off camera. I have no lines. I got Marty Scorsese listening into the scene. I got Bobby De Niro, another really incredibly sane guy. We do six or seven takes. I'm sitting on a milk crate in Warwick, Rhode Island, while this lunatic is acting, this lunatic is listening, and I'm doing nothing. And on the seventh take, Marty says to me, Jimmy, I didn't quite believe you on the last take. <laughs> I said, Marty, with all due respect, you obsessive, compulsive maniac, I'm listening. He said, you're not listening right. You're not listening right. <laughs> Let me just say, when it comes to detail, there is no greater director on earth. When it comes to the broad strokes, there was no greater director on earth. But I will tell you beyond that, to us day players who work for nothing for a few days once in a while and even act off camera and listen to the thing, bump, he is a great and wonderful man and my best new friend. And Marty, congratulations. You should have this every night.